A ministerial nominee from Kaduna State, Abbas Balarabi, collapsed during his screening by the Senate in the Committee of the Whole. Balarabi had just finished reading a brief background information about himself, while the Senate had also suspended its rules to allow its sitting beyond 2 p.m. when the incident happened. There was no clear picture of what actually transpired or what led to the incident, as the Senate immediately went into a closed-door session. Apparently confused, Senate President Godwin Lapabio was heard rallying senators and parliamentary workers in the Red Chamber to revive the nominee. I am likely the longest serving Secretary of the Government in Nigeria. So I have uh, been part of administration, I've been part of policy making, I've been part of uh, uh, trying to change things in, in, in the country based on what I did at the, the federal level. Um, can you say water, 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 give me water, water and sugar, water and sugar, get sugar, 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 and water. Is there, is there, where is Dr. Wale? Can, can the camera see simulate? confirmed the appointment of Balarabe Lawal, Kaduna Ayodele Olawande from Ondo and Jamila Bio Ibrahim from Kwara as ministers. President of the Senate, Godwill Akwabi, announced the confirmation of the ministers after they were cleared through a voice vote by senators at the plenary. The confirmation brings the total number of ministers that will serve in the administration of President Bola Tinobu to 48. Ibrahim, a 37-year-old trained medical practitioner, was cleared after reeling out her CV to the lawmakers in plenary. But when lawmakers were given opportunity to ask questions, Senator Abdul Fattah Buhari stressed the need not to grill Dr. Ibrahim, noting that her nomination by President Tinubu was part of his vision for youth's inclusion in governance. In a remark, Dr. Ibrahim pledged commitment to influence Nigerian youths in the decision-making process of this administration. Of um, the challenges that Nigerian youth are faced with, underemployment, unemployment, yes, and um, of course, um, poor access to health, uh, access to affordable and quality health care, poor access to quality education, and of course, um, we are deprived of skills that will make us um, keep up with the current realities of the job market. So, in my capacity as the Honorable, but as a Minister of Youth Development of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I, my, my role, if confirmed, if confirmed, Mr. President, thank you, sir, if confirmed as the Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to pilot the affairs of the Youth Ministry, my, 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 my first and most important role would be to inspire young people. After her remark, the President of the Senate, Goswil Akwabio, asked her to take a bow and go. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.